Hi, my name is Anthony Parkinson. I work for the technical team here at Ansel Lighting, and this is how to wire in switch dim, or as we call it, DD1. In this scenario, we have a generic DD1 setup switch dim. Uh, I'm going to start with showing you how to wire through the plugs and the connector. So we have a neutral line which comes through. This then goes through the connector block which is provided with the fitting. And as you can see, the blue cable follows through each side of the connector into the flex and then all the way into the driver. The neutral is terminated here. The neutral for the Dali signal, which is the black cable here, is actually terminated together with the neutral in the connector block and this is a shared neutral. The earth line follows through the connector, terminated on both sides and travels through to the driver and is terminated here. The permanent live firstly is terminated through the connector and travels all the way through to the driver providing a permanent feed into the driver. There is also a permanent feed into the push to make retractive switch here which goes into the common. Out of the L1 terminal on the switch dim we have a switch line which as you can see here is denoted with a red tape. This goes into the L2 terminal on the connector. This actually comes out of the other side of the connector with a grey cord cable. This travels through and is terminated, in this case, into the Dali Live terminal. What we'll do, we'll now energise the fitting. The switch is then used to bring the light level up. If you press and hold, it will then maximum out at 100%. You release it, it will hold at that dim level. If you press and hold again, it will dim all the way down. And at this point, if I want to set it at a certain dim level, let's say about 50%, we can actually keep that as the set dim level when it is switched on next time. One switch off, and then the next time you enter the room, you can press the switch on. And at that point, it remembers the last known dimmed state. 